Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. Um, today we are celebrating our two year anniversary on YouTube. Um, so of course celebrations need to have giveaways. So I have an amazing giveaway for you guys. Um, I will have all the rules linked in the bottom. All you have to do is just make sure you are subscribed to my page. Um, you can give the video a thumbs up and then just drop a little like emoji stating like, yo, I was here. So that's it. Let me show you guys what you can get from the giveaway. Sorry, we're in a small, oh, small space. So I have to do a lot of reaching here. So I have three things that I'm giving away and it's going to one lucky winner. Um, we only ship though to United States at the moment. Um, so just make sure you are a US resident and 18 and older. Like I said, all the rules will be in the description below. So we are going to be giving away an e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow. So here's what we're giving away. This is one of them. The other item we're giving away is a Neutrogena makeup remover um, cleansing towelette. A little like pack, here we go. And then we're also giving away um, by Hask Argan Oil um, from Morocco repairing deep conditioning um, hair treatment. And none of these are sponsoring this video and none of the products I'm using are sponsoring these videos. These are just extras um, that I have and would love to share with one lucky person okay um so today i'm just gonna be doing a makeup look and taking guys along for the ride with me um so uh, let's get started um so i am your average person you guys i don't always clean my beauty blenders when i should you know that's okay though um, so I'm going to be using the Mary Kay CC Cream Sunscreen Broad Spectrum Foundation for today. Um, I have my cute little headband on to try to, you know, keep from getting in my hair. So I always just put it on my blender and then I just kind of swipe it on my cheek to start. I am getting low on foundation. I can hear it like, like it's almost down and I'm like, I did just buy a new foundation, but I haven't tried it out. So I didn't want to use this video for that because things can get scary, you know? So y'all know I'm blind without my glasses. So just hang in there. But here we go. Let me grab my mirror. So I always like to kind of just smooth everything over my face. And then I normally go in and I kind of uh, make sure that it all is blended welly. And you just want to pat it out. Okay, then I am going to go in with my concealer and we are going to conceal. So I have been using my Maybelline New York concealer. It has a little dot sponge on the top um, and this one is in Cool Ivory. Um, I just started using this one and honestly, I don't know how I really feel at the moment, you know, like... I mean, I do still have to particularly use my beauty blender to blend it out. I do not trust to just use this sponge to blend, um, but you know, it's, it's trying and that's, that's fine. I feel like I do have to use quite a bit of this one too, you know, just to get it to work, but you know. Okay. 
So I always put it down here on my chin. My nose, I have really big pores on my nose, so I'm always trying to hide those. Down here under my eyes. On my forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with my setting powder. The setting powder I am using today is my Mary Kay translucent powder. I don't know if you guys can see that. My ring light may be blinding everything, you know. She's good at that. Oh. I am gonna just take whatever product is left on my beauty blender. <laughs> this sounds funny. And I'm gonna, um, just pat my neck to try to make everything look even so my head doesn't look like a floating head. Whoever created these translucent setting powders thought it was really cute to put the little twisty thing, you know, so we don't spill our powder, which is really nice of them. But it's also a curse because um, I can't get it open with fake nails on. And yes, I am all aware I'm missing three nails, you guys. Don't don't focus on that, okay? Don't 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 go there. It's gonna be okay. Okay, so I get my translucent setting powder in my little topper. Um, I'm using the Bogotchis powder brush, big fluffy powder brush. She needs to be cleaned, okay? Don't, don't judge. And then I just put a little bit on it, on the tip, and then I just go into those areas real lightly that I uh, just concealed. Okay, then once that is on there, whatever powder I have left over, I'm just gonna take all over my whole face in a dabbing motion, because I don't wanna swipe, because swiping can move around your foundation. It kind of leaves you like a blotchy, and you don't wanna be blotchy. Then I am going to go in with my setting spray. I am using the Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray. Um, and I am just going to mist my whole face. 
This right here I have learned really helps to keep you from looking cakey. Um, it just kind of gives you a better overall look and it also helps when applying your um, like bronzer and blush that it doesn't really smear everything else around. And I never go light on it. Like I cake it on. So then it, with my beauty blender, so this is the part I used for putting on my foundation. And then I use the butt end for pressing in very ever so lightly that um, setting spray. And this kind of just makes sure that everything is, you know, really just pressed in. It's going to give you a more flawless look. Okay, once that is done, then I'm going to go in with my bronzer. Let me find my brush. So I'm going to use the Firma 103 in gold brush. And when I go in, I don't swirl, I don't swipe, I dab. And then I'm gonna hit that jawline and I'm gonna dab it on. And I always start at the base of my chin because I don't wanna give myself sideburns. You never wanna go heavy on your sideburn area because then you'll leave sideburns. Then to find my cheekbone, because I do have a chubbier face, I suck at it. And I know they say that's really bad to do because you're contorting your face. So then when you let go, your face isn't in the same shape it was. But personally, this works for me. So I think in all honesty, you just kind of have to see what works for you. But I'm just going to go for what I do. <laughs> so, but when I do line, I'm going to bring it up to the temple. It gives a natural facelift instead of throwing it back to the ear. Kind of gives me a rounder upper kind of facelift. come up here to my hairline and in a sense this is a three point a three of a, of a contour so I just go along my hairline So then once I have that done, I'm going to put more product on my brush and then I'm going to go in and blend it out, girls. You want to blend everything out. Blend, 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 blend. So here we go.
And if you ever feel like you went too hard on your contour, you can always take your beauty blender that has that leftover foundation and concealer on it and just kind of blend it out if it's not to your liking. Okay, so there we go. We are contoured. Like I said, um, if it's too dark for your liking, go ahead and, you know, soften it up with the Beauty Blender. I used the Ofra um, Bronzer Americano. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with blush. And because my eye look today is going to be a little brighter, I'm going to do a softer blush color I say softer but then I pause because it's not that softer so I don't know so this is the auto bomb girl powder um, blush that I'm gonna use and it's in the shade Houston I'm gonna use the same brush I just used to contour as you see when I'm picking up any of my products I dab this one I am gonna dab off because this one is very powdery and I don't think I want that big of a blush. Okay. And I throw it back. I don't leave it right on top of my cheekbone. I throw it back. And don't forget to blend. Okay, so then I'm not done with my blush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit on my brush again, really tap this one off. And just because it's summer and I like to have that cute little like, hey, I've been out in the sun kind of look, I just hit the tip of my nose ever so lightly. And the bridge. Just like that. That like, hey, been out in the sun, mm, I'm cute. <sighs> kind of look. <sighs> Did you guys see that? She, she dusty. She dusty, but she good. So then I am going to move on to my brows, which I have not mastered the brows, you all. I'm still fairly new at trying to get this brow life down, so don't hold me to this one. Hang on, I'm thirsty. Okay, so I have a little spoolie here. And before I start my brows, I'm gonna brush my brows up. Okay, once my brows are up to my liking, I'm gonna go in with my brow pencil, which I have lost. Please hold. <laughs> oh, here, nope, nope, that's not it. Guys, I'm so blind. 
Oh no. She's missing. <gasps> what are we gonna do? Okay, nobody panic. Nobody panic. She has to be somewhere in here. Honey, where did you go? Oh, here she is. Okay. I found her. So I honestly don't know who this is by. I think it's by Absolute New York. I got it at a sales. Um I think at Marshall's. But it's double-ended, so it has like my pencil and then it has my Oh my god, I can't think of the world. Well, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Let me think as I draw my eyebrow on. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys this because I have to get really close because I'm really blind. So, normally whenever I'm drawing my eyebrow on, I go to the very top of my hair and then I draw it in and then I kind of curve it down to where my hair would be. Because I, I have really light hair, so it's really hard to see. Um, so then I go to the very bottom line and I draw and then I just connect that line. So like that. And as you see, I didn't start right where the hair starts because this hair should be really fine. You don't want that to be like bright, like, Hey, so, and then I just take it and I color it in very lightly. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same for the other eyebrow. And don't forget your eyebrows are never twins, they're sisters, so they'll never be the same. Guys, I thought of the name, Paul made. <laughs> I told you, I was like, just give me a minute. I will, I'll remember it. Like, what you gotta give me a minute, okay? So then I go in to my other side with my pomade. And this has like a little brush spatula thing. And I just pick up ever so lightly amount. Yes, it is darker than my hair color. I do prefer my eyebrows darker. I don't know. I just, I just do, okay? And then I literally just do like the world's smallest swipes with a pomade. If you've ever worked with pomade, you know it smears very easily. So I never take it all the way down to the tip. I mainly just do like where your bushy part would be. Sorry, I tend to lean forward when I like, I don't, I don't know why I do that. Anyone else? Odd. Uh, okay. So then I know you're probably thinking like that, but that's it. No, that's not it. So then I take my spoolie once more and I'm gonna really blend this out, okay? So here, here we go, we're gonna blend. I even go all the way down to the tip and blend. So once I have my eyebrows done, I know you're probably thinking like, ooh, they look a little rough, girl. Okay, so look, it's gonna be okay. I really try to blend those lines out. Okay. So then, I forgot my stuff back here, sorry. I wasn't prepared. So then I personally like to take my toner. I have a very natural toner by Bath. By the body shop it's vitamin e toner so i like to take this and clean up my eyebrows i know you're thinking like but doesn't that take your foundation off i press very lightly
just like that. Kind of just cleans up the edges. So I personally don't like to go in with concealer and clear it up just because I feel like concealer just makes my face very oily and smudgy in a sense. So I don't personally like to do that. Okay, so there we go. We have eyebrows. Okay, so then we are going to move on to eyeshadow. Let's see. Let's see here. So, I'm trying to think of, of what we want to do here. Um, yeah. So I am going to use the Too Faced Tangover RX Replenishing Face Primer to actually prime my eyelids. I am that girl. Hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> um, yeah. And it's nice I'm kind of missing a nail because I'm going to use this finger that is missing a nail to put on my eye primer because I won't jab myself in the eye, you know. That's kind of nice. You know, so we're lining. And whenever I put eye products on, I mean, putting eyeshadow on is already fairly rough on your eye. So I really try not to drag my finger on my eye too much. Just because, you know, like our eyes already take a beating from all the blinking, the sun, the makeup, the makeup removing. It, you know, like they just, they take a real beating. So... I try to just dab it on and not beat the crap out of my eyelid because I'm already rough with her and I, like I just, you know, she's like, please honey, just take it down a notch and I'm like, okay. See, silver lining about losing a nail. I am the most um, not girly when it comes to having fake nails so you know they were bound to come off real fast okay so now that my eyelids are primed I kind of let them dry a little bit before I just like slap that makeup right on um but I am going to use a fluffier brush today a fluffy bread blending brush um once more like I said I don't like to really y'all clean clean your brushes because if you don't clean your brushes you're gonna get breakouts and bacteria it, it, it's, it's just not a good thing okay so don't don't do like me and clean your brushes okay so here i have this right here that was a lifesaver for if you're doing multiple color looks and you only have a limited amount of brushes with you this right here you just swipe this on and it takes the color off and then bam you can just you know grab a new color so I am going to be using the Milani palette today. This is my go-to girl right here. Like, I love her. I love her, okay. Let me show you her colors without showing you my bathroom. Oh, okay. Here she is. Oh my God, she is beautiful. So I think we're gonna go in with a red. I don't know which red yet. Hold on. I'm thinking. I think we're going to go in with this burnt red. Now, this is where I, I swipe. Small swipes. Okay. And then I'm going to put it all over the eyelid, but mainly focus on the upper part of my eyelid. So, here we go. And I'm going to go in and dab at first.
And now I'm going to blend it up. Okay, and I think I want it a little darker, so I am going to put in a little more. Okay, I think that is to the desired color I want. Okay, so then I am gonna, oh, sorry, my camera was doing something weird. So now I'm just gonna do the other eye. So I think that is to the color that I desire with my red. Okay. Then I am going to grab some concealer. Wherever she has gone. Where, where did you go? Concealer. You can blame it all on me. Oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. It's right in front of my face, y'all. Okay. Um, uh, let me grab something else here. Without throwing everything on the floor. So, I'm going to be using the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer to cut my crease. Um, yeah. So I've been told to put it like this and look up and that will show you where your crease stops. See? Like that. And then now you know where to, to smooth it over. So when I smooth this over, ooh, I don't know if I can get this open guys. These nails. E. I have a jar. Sorry. It's ugh, okay. I have this cute little jar with these little foam paddles. I like to use these to move my concealer around because then I can just throw them away because I hate cleaning um, concealer off of a brush. It's just not a thing. So once more, I try to be really gentle with my eyelids and I pat that concealer around.
Okay. So then I'm going to take a flat packing brush. Once more, I need to, you know, clean it off. And I'm going to go in with a really, a really pretty gold. So I'm going to go in with this gold color right there. You see it? You see it? Right, right there. Right there. You see it? Did, did, did you see it? Okay. Here we go. Honestly, I don't even know who this packing brush is by because I've used it so much that the name is gone. And I'm just going to put it where we put the concealer. Just like that. Now when applying glitter like this kind of shade, you really just have to be patient, you guys. Like, you know, just layer her like you need. Don't rush it. You know, take your time. See, look at that. Ooh, she's gorgeous. Just a little more. Okay, a little more. Like I said, you have to be patient when working with this kind of color. Okay. Now, before I move on to anything else, you probably see all the little glitter fallout. So now, a lot of people do their eyes before they do their foundation. I personally can't because when I do my foundation, I like to be sloppy with it and then fine tune it. So. I always do my eyes first. So I'm gonna take my fluffy brush that I used powder for with the ever so lightly touch, swipe it away like that. Ever so lightly. And it doesn't get rid of it all the way, but you know, it will clean up most of it. Okay, so then we're going to pick up the brush we already used for that red, and we're going to dabble into our red a little more, 
and we're just gonna blend the gold with the red now when you're doing this you're gonna want to blend down into the gold because if you blend up you're gonna bring that gold into your red and then it's just a big mess in a sense so blend down in a sense like that so like that You guys, I have two different shaped eyes. That's why it looks like that, okay? I, I don't know. Like I said, your eyes are not twins. They're sisters. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my fluffy brush once more. Then I'm gonna go in to, ooh, I made a mess. I'm gonna go in to this green right here. And I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. like that Sorry, I'm blind. Okay, so then when I have my green down there, I'm gonna, um, got makeup in my eye, guys. Pause. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my fluffy brush <laughs> once more. I'm just going to kind of wipe away any excess. Ever so gently. Okay. All right. Then... Um, let's move on to some lashes because you know a lash just kind of pulls the whole look together um, I'm going to be using lash for days pro beauty essential it was a two-pack but you know I already used the other lash so this is the lash I'm gonna be using this was the package it came in you know y'all get it um, so these lashes don't really have a band, so I put the lash glue on my actual lash. Um, 
not on the, I put the lash glue on my eyelid. Sweet Jesus. So this is also their brand of lash glue. This comes out really dark. It's not a clear lash glue. It's a, um, it's like a dark lash glue. So it's gonna give me like an eyeliner kind of look, which is cool, it's fine. Um, this is really tricky to do, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but you know, I'll leave the camera running for funsies, and if you get to see it, you see it, if not, I'm sorry, um, because this is really hard to do. So once I get my glue on, I let it set for a little bit and while it's setting, I take this opportunity to go ahead and just get my mascara on. I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Love Lash Mascara. This will let my glue get tacky. It's easier to put lashes on with tacky glue. It says 30 seconds, but I'm pretty sure I go a little over that. And I always put my mascara on before my actual lash because you don't want to put your mascara on after because then you get your lash dirty, but you also want your lashes to blend in. So um, normally you also want to size your lashes, but I've had these lashes before. So I know they, they are the size of my eyelid. So then when putting on your lash, you can either use tweezers or your fingers or whatever you really prefer. I normally just go with my hand. <laughs> Hopefully you see this. So you're going to want to go into the middle and then attach your sides. See? So you go in the middle. And then normally, here's my tweezers. I go with my tweezers and I just press, like I use, I have a rounded butt of tweezers. So, um, like they're like this, you know? So I use this part and I just kinda, you know, make sure that lash is fully on there, girl. Like, you know? Now the eyelash glue did get a little sloppy on that one, but you know, it's okay. Nothing is perfect. We all can't be amazing. like that okay so then um, don't forget to do your bottom lashes 
So I'm gonna go back in with my Mary Kay mascara and I'm just gonna kinda hit the bottle lap. Bought Tama lashes real quick. Okay, then we are gonna go in with a highlighter. Let's see, which highlighter should we use? I guess we're gonna go maybe for a goldish highlighter, you know? Finish off this gorgeous look. Ooh, 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 she's stuck, okay. So I'm going to be using my IBY um, Highlighter Radiant Glow in Prosecco. I don't know if you guys can see that. Blind people problems. Um, and then I'm going to use my favorite highlighter brush. This is the um, All Over Highlighter Powder Brush by Complex Culture. See, y'all just give me a minute to, you know, think what I'm trying to say. Okay, and then when I put on my highlighter, I'm gonna hit that cheekbone right above my blush and throw it on back. Hit above that eyebrow. I like to do my cheek twice because I wanna be seen from space. I do the side of my nose. Do the tip of my nose. Do my Cupid's bow. I repeat for the other side. like that now once that is complete I am once more gonna go in with my setting spray once again with the Mary Kay makeup finishing spray and I'm gonna spray my whole face don't go light ladies don't go light and this time I don't pat it in I just fan it dry Now we need a lippy. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a soft gloss, you guys. And I haven't used this one in a while. So we're gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the, um, sorry. I had a gloss explode in my bucket the other day and now everything is just kind of glossy. So I'm gonna be using the Beauty For Real Miami Beach um, lip gloss. So here she is. She's also a plumping lip gloss and she is in shade Nudist. So when I do my lip glosses and my lipsticks, I'm gonna make an X first on my upper lip. just helps kind of find that tip you know
whenever I do a bold eye, I like to do a light lip. Because, you know, you don't want to take away from your eyes. Like, honey. You just put in all that work. Don't take it away. There she is, you guys. Cute little look. If you really want to spice her up, you can go ahead and add a little bit of highlighter to your inner corners. So I'm just using the highlighter I just used on my cheeks. And I'm just dabbing her on the inner corner of my eye. You know, just, you know, really spicing her up. All right, guys. So that is it for my makeup today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that little like button um, and then don't forget about our giveaway, okay? And I will see you on the next one. Bye.